All right, so uh, welcome back. Um, in the second part of the uh, the intro tutorial, I'm going to show uh, how to actually set up your uh, your environment hierarchy uh, for uh, the Quad UI framework. Uh, so to start off, I'm going to create a top level object which is uh, is going to contain our Quad UI uh, main script. So I'm just going to create a new game object, and I'm just going to call it uh, 2D because it's, it's going to be a 2D environment. And I'm going to set it to be um, at uh, 0, 0, 0. And uh, I'm going to invert the, uh, the x-axis here. Uh, and what this is going to do, let me just zoom in on it here. What this is going to do is going to invert your uh, your up vector and if you're in local mode you'll be able to see the uh, the arrow actually pointing down whereas in global mode it doesn't really matter uh, but here you'll see that the up vector is, is pointing down and what this is going to do is any object that is a child of this now um, it's going to have the positive y region now uh, closer to the bottom of the screen as opposed to going up how it is in, in the 3D environment. Um, so if you're working in, in programs like Adobe Flash or something like that, you'll notice that the top left is, is uh, 0, 0. Um, so to kind of maintain that, uh, you, can, you can change that and just kind of use uh, sort of game object and transform hierarchies to, uh, to set up your environment that way so that your coordinates work the way that you want them to. Uh, so the next thing uh, that we need to do now is, uh, since we have this game object, uh, we need to go to uh, component and then quad UI and then attach uh, the main script uh, quad UI. And what this is going to do is going to attach um, a custom inspector for the uh, the quad UI class. And you see, there's not really anything here other than uh, screen dimensions, um, a, vec a vector two, and uh, a reference to a camera. So I'm just going to drag over our 2D camera because that's what it needs. Um, and, and it uses this to uh, to send the uh, the rays from and get all of the information like the calling mask and, and stuff like that. Uh, also, uh, we are working currently in 480 by 320. So as uh, as you use this, what it does is it actually draws a wireframe cube here. Uh, so in an orthographic view, it kind of gives you uh, the outlines of uh, your your working screen. Uh, and if you switch to perspective mode, you're just going to see that it's just a wireframe cube that actually ties into the uh, the near clip and far clip planes of your camera. So if you do uh, end up working in perspective mode uh, to kind of sort things out, um, you know, move uh, move objects a little bit further ahead of each other to kind of sort that out, uh, you'll have a, a cube to also work within. Uh, so now that we have that set up, um, I should probably explain um, sort of sort of the way that uh, Quad UI works, is that you have all these uh, interactive components like your buttons and then you have some static components too like this logo here. Um, and those are all going to be contained inside of a, of a game object which has a screen component. And then those all those screens that have all these different buttons and and whatnot within them are then contained in another game object which is a manager. And then all of that sits inside of the the two D environment that we've created. So uh, what we need to do is actually create um, a script now that's going to uh, extend part of the framework. And uh, so I'm going to go down and create a C sharp script, and I'm going to call this. Um, menu manager and this is going to be the, uh, the sort of top level uh, menu script which manages all the other smaller menus so what we're going to do here is we're going to go to uh, uh, unisite here and we're going to say uh, menu manager is the class name and it's going to extend um, screen 2d manager now all the information for all these classes and uh, important important notes are all in the documentation. So if you read the script reference, um, you should uh, you should be pretty clear on, on how uh, on how to set some of these things up and, and the different the different methods. But I'm going to try my best to kind of explain and, and show you how things uh, work um, in, in a mi in a minimalistic uh, sense. Uh, so we have this uh, menu manager here. 
and uh, Screen 2D Manager is what it extends. So we'll just uh, leave that alone for, for a second, but it's, in, it's important to have that. Uh, so uh, we made that script. Uh, let's create a new game object now. And we'll call that one Menu Manager after the, uh, the script that's going to be attached to it. And we'll set it to be uh, 0, 0, 0. And we're going to uh, set it to be inside of uh, the quad UI uh, 2D game object here. Um, so as you notice, um, its local up vector is uh, pointing up even though it's inside of uh, the 2D game object which has it pointing down and you'll notice over here that the uh, the Y and Z um, rotation axes are uh, set to negative 180 uh, so we'll just, we're just going to uh, flip those and set them back to zero so that it conforms to the uh, the parent transform uh, that way you, you maintain that inverted uh, up vector otherwise um, anything that sits inside of that will then be right side up again but we want it to be upside down, so we'll invert those. Um, now we'll uh, drag and attach that menu manager script we've just created, and you'll see what, what happens here is that we've got um, an array here of various screens, and that takes the, the type uh, screen 2D, and then there's also a default screen 2D. Um, I'll get into that a little bit more uh, later. So uh, now that we have the, uh, the manager and the uh, the top level environment class um, we need to create another script and we're going to call this one um, main menu I guess is a good name for it we'll just open that up and we'll name it main menu and that's going to extend the class screen 2d